Welcome back to the channel. We've had a bit of a break. We've been going more into the solar side of things and because we've been getting to grips with things, we just haven't had the time to do any videos. But you're gonna be joining us down in Kensington on our first Enphase micro inverter installation where it's gonna be a flat on roof system with the micro inverters. So come and join us inside and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this particular solar installation. We're doing our first on-roof system and we're gonna show you how we're gonna go from this to this. This is our 10 by 290 watt system. It's a three kilowatt system linked up to N-phase microinverters behind each panel. And if you stay tuned, we're gonna go through the installation process and why we decided to use uh, an N-phase microinverter system on this flat roof over here. And this design diagram represents our framing system. Each square represents two panels and we're going to ballast them out either side of the feet, either side of the footings for the solar panel frames. But at the minute, to get the ballast up, we're going to use this hoist wheel here and that's going to get everything up on site and we're just put it on top of the flat roof, ready for the frame to be assembled. Oh, bit of manual labour. This is our rail system. With solar panels, you've got three main types of mounting systems. You've got an in-roof system, you've got an on-pitched roof system, or you've got an on-flat roof system. And an on-flat roof system is what you call the low-hanging fruit in the equation, because it's, as you'll see as we go through it, it's so easy. Once you start getting everything squared up, you've got your mounting system all lined up, got the ballast on, but like everything just falls into place and it's a real dream. So for us to be working on our first end phase installation on a on flat roof system, it just frees us up to, to be able to familiarise familiarize ourselves with the system a bit more. But if we start over here, we'll just talk through some of the components. The way the system's gonna work is that you're gonna have a you're gonna have a higher than low pitch, higher than low pitch. The panels are gonna go like that. You'll see in a minute when we get all the panels on. So this is the low portion of the panel. And what we've put on this asphalt roof is a sacrificial layer. The reason why I've done this is because an asphalt roof can go up to like 100 degrees. And if you've got something weighty on there, it will sink itself into the roof. And the sacrificial layer here just helps with that process of, it will, it will slightly bed into the roof, but, but, but hopefully not too much. And we put the ballast here. And if I get the drawings over here, I'll explain. This is the initial design. So each number corresponds with the kilograms that we need per panel. Uh, we need 40 kilograms approximately per two panels. If you imagine a solar panel, on its own it's quite light. I don't know, about like seven kilograms, something like that. But a solar panel, if it catches the wind, it's gonna turn into an aeroplane wing. The ballast is a really important part of what we're doing here. And looking at this drawing here, the middle only needed about 80, only needed about 20 per two panels, because if we look at these parapet walls here, that's gonna take a lot of the wind off, especially with the chimney pots up there, it's gonna stagger the wind. But we haven't got a parapet towards the end, and that's why we've got more ballast down this side, because we're gonna have a little bit more of a crosswind coming in from there because there's no parapet wall. And then what we have here, we've got these rails that come along and we've got the bedding feet along here, the little rubber piece below. And these pins, we slide them in, knock them across and they lock in place. That, our panels are gonna fix to those. These are the micro inverters. 
The main advantage with a microinverter system is that you don't have a single point of failure, whereas with a traditional centralized inverter system, you've got one point of failure. These N-phase IQ7 pluses, they're also given the guarantee which matches most solar panels now, which is about 25 years. The AC plug, as we plug them into there, they're not polarity sensitive. We can plug them in either way. It's just such an easy, simple system to work with. The other advantage with a microinverter system is that you're converting, a, you're converting the DC from the panel at source. So we don't have to worry about moving DC through a house, a DC going through people's houses and stuff. It, it's always great to avoid that because if you get a loose connection or someone drills through a DC cable, it will almost definitely catch on fire. With AC, you've got a little bit more leeway there. We're going to start putting on some panels now and we're going to show you how we clip them in and secure them to the rail system. These are the peak 290 watt micro inverters. And what we're doing right now is we are securing these each to the ballast blocks. And these are the AC links. So what happens is these IQ7 pluses, they convert the DC from the panel at source. And this is our, gonna be our AC side, which is gonna link over to an isolator over there. They're not polarity sensitive, but when you're plugging them in, you get a nice reassuring click that they're in. And we're just gonna daisy chain them all one by one. Uh, it's always a good idea just to lay them out loosely first so that you can kind of say, well, that's gonna do that panel, this is gonna do that panel, and then we get, get them all plugged in. Let's crack on, get the rest done. and. Uh, We'll update you in a minute. What we need to do is we take the DC, so these are the DC MC4 connectors which come straight from our 250 watt per light panels. And what will happen is, as soon as we click each MC4 connector in, so if we click that MC4 in there, and then if we click that one into there, we're gonna see four flashes. And that's telling us that the panel's in, it's connected, the microinverter is communicating with it correctly. So look out for the flashes. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. So that's in. So we've got the mid position clamps, which are these are a double clamp. And then we have these end clamps, which are here. Do we've got a spare mid position one? That's one of the end clamps that are going to go in. And then the mid position clamp is just effectively just a double. Um, right, so, position that one over there, <coughs> get that nice and square on there, move this one across, so these need to sit on the, that like you've done there nicely, okay, and then this, we won't tighten these ones yet, um, won't tighten these yet. A few moments later. Push it up a little bit more. Is that the same as, does it look the same as that other one? That's it. A bit more. That'll do. Lovely. Right, let's continue putting the rest of them in. Each inverter is going to have its own address and it's really important that we peel the barcode off each inverter and we stick it on our little map and what that enables us to do is that when it comes to the commissioning side of it, we know in the future if there is a problem with the inverter, we know exactly what panel it's going to be behind. I think it would be quite a rookie mistake if we didn't do this process. It may fall on a bit of a nightmare in the future. But because we're going to do this all now, it makes things a lot easier. This inverter is going to do this panel. There we go. Wait for the flash. 12 seconds later. Beauty, James, beauty. <laughs> So 
So this is the on-roof system installed from pretty much just the roof perspective. Just to go through what we've done, we've mounted all the longitudinal rails going along and then between each rail we've put this little buffer guard there on the asphalt roof. We've used uh, a sacrificial layer below and we've put the ballast in. This cable here is got, gonna have a little end cap put on it. And then as we go over to this side, we've got a six mil three core that's already run from the basement for us. So we're just gonna jump onto that and link it onto our panels there. If you have a look at this particular layout here, one of the issues that we have is we're gonna have quite a lot of shading coming in from the power pit walls. That's where the microinverter system comes into its own. It can optimize each panel as some of you will know, shading can bring down an entire system, but not so much of an issue with the microinverter system here. Now, this system was actually more so of a requirement for planning permission as opposed to having a, an amazingly functioning solar system. Okay, so that was us doing part one of the end phase installation. I thought it would be best if I cut the video there and then as a part two, we'll show you the commissioning process, getting the, getting the gateway installed and doing all the final commissioning and stuff like that. Now, I haven't done much content recently because I've been pushing the company more towards the renewable side of things. It's not to say we don't do the, like, the general electrical stuff still. We still do heaps of that. I just don't feel very enthusiastic filming it. So if you do like this content and you want to see the small channel grow, then please do like and subscribe. Like it means a lot to us because doing the filming around running a small business is, it takes up a lot of time. And if I have, if I have like encouragement from you guys, it will keep me wanting to do more. So yeah, that's where we're at and stay tuned for the next video.